Okay, Alan, you want to hand me another piece? Okay, sure. Okay. Okay, there we got it all ready to go. Now, ordinarily, kids like to do an experiment in which they put a plastic bag over a plant in the house mm -hmm. and collect the moisture that the plant gives off. I thought it would be much better if we did it over a whole branch of a tree. But how do the leaves let go of the water? Well, water is coming up through the roots, up through the trunk, you know, and out into the branches and the leaves, and it's part of the whole food-making process. But there are tiny little cells on the undersurface of the leaf that control the amount of water that's given off. Oh, it's just like us, because when we sweat, we let water out of our skin. Well, it's per per perspiration, you know, somewhat like that. The process is somewhat different, but it's the same idea. Oh. So, uh, well, let's leave it on all day. Come back sometime tonight, okay? Okay. About seven o'clock or so? Sure. All right. Look at all the water down there, Alan. Whoa. Yeah. The plant give up this much water? Yeah. Well, they actually give off a lot more than that. And notice where it's coming from. Remember I said it was going to come from the leaves? You can see all the moisture on the inside, see? Yeah, it? there's a little drop. There's a little drop place. going down right now, yes. Now, all plants give off water like that, some more than others. It's, uh, scientists have measured the water coming from a corn plant, for example, and it gives off a couple of liters a day, depending on the temperature and the humidity. Now, if you want to do this at home, you don't have to do it around a tree branch. You can do it around a plant, you know, an indoor plant. Oh, and, so um, that's why in a forest it's so damp and moist. Right, because like, the, all the trees are giving off a lot of moisture, right. So if you want to try this at home, just carefully cover a plant and you'll see that they give off a tremendous amount of water.